Well, 639, welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We're joined today here by State Representative Shannon Rose Jones. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us early this morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and she represents Fargo, and this is her second term now as the state rep. And um, welcome. First, several of bills that you've introduced this session here on a common theme, and uh, several have to do with the justice reinvestment, investment, as well as more participating in the drug counts, helping offenders in the 24-7 sobriety programs get to work. So tell us about the motivation here behind these bills, Shannon? Well, a lot of the bills started out um, just kind of with, a, with an idea that came out of our last legislative session. I served on the Judiciary Committee and a lot of our work was surrounding uh, justice reinvestment. Looking at um, our current practices with the prison system is locking people up and incarcerating really serving the purpose when more than 90 percent of our prison inhabitants will eventually be released and how do we uh, set them up for success as they come out of prison or potentially even keep them from going into pr the prison system because a lot of the people who are in the system are there because they have either mental health or addiction mm -hmm. issues. Uh, and so just kind of taking that and, and bringing it forward, I started working, the first bill I started working on was the criminal record ceiling, mm -hmm. which is an opportunity for people to get a fresh start um, if they have had uh, issues with law enforcement in the past but have now had a period of time where they've been out of trouble then they can petition the courts after three years for a misdemeanor after five years for a felony and they can um, show the court kind of that the progress that they've made towards rehabilitation and ask for that record to be sealed so it doesn't show up in the public um, searches if someone an employer does a search or a landlord that opens up their opportunity for employment and for housing in the future. And the other ones kind of followed along the same line. We have a lot of people uh, who are getting, having criminal records created for them just because they're caught with a small amount of marijuana. Mm -hmm. So that's where the decriminalization came with, taking right. that small quantity, one ounce or less, and turning it into a fine mm -hmm. only. So it doesn't, you, don't, you never start the process of creating a criminal record. Right. Obviously, we're not talking about large quantities or distribution. Mm -hmm. Those still would be criminal records, but this takes that a small quantity and says if you if you're caught with just a small amount um, we're going to give you a fine you move on with your day it doesn't affect your ability again to find housing or jobs in the future okay so when it comes to that uh, changing the that the state's marijuana law with that with that bill kind of what led you to this bill and do you see that bill passing you kind of touched on this a little bit so the marijuana decriminalization law is or bill is the last one uh, to come out of committee we'll be finishing working on that this morning mm -hmm. and so I do hope that it will come out of committee this morning with a due pass recommendation mm -hmm. but um, but that's yet to be seen we'll know that by noon okay and uh, <laughs> and the rest of them are are well on their way to either having passed the house or there's one more that I one more bill that I'm working on that has not yet passed and that's the um, drug court sentence reduction. Okay, and uh, lastly, I know there's lots happening, lots that you have going on here, but if somebody wants to talk to you about a bill or a different issue, what is the best way to reach you? Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm always happy to have emails. My uh, legislative mm -hmm. email is srorsjones at nd.gov. Okay, we have that uh, there for Perfect, you. <laughs> perfect. And um, I have a, a telephone number uh, that people can pull up if they want to go to my Facebook page. That's a, that's a good place to find perfect. my phone number or reach out to me by messenger on Facebook. All right. Well, thank you so much, Shannon, yeah. for joining us here early this morning. And Thanks for uh, having me. Good luck me. with the rest of the session here. Appreciate All it. Right.